Hey yo together and very welcome to the StarCraft 2 Crazy Replays today on Belshiva Stitch Leather Edition with another TVT. Should be a really good one. So let's see what we have here. Just give me a moment. This is really intense. And there we go. Yeah, in the top left hand side, in the blue, it is the Terran Buzzy. And in the bottom right hand side, the red Terran me, of course, Alex Usher. So I'm going for one STV scout. Very interesting. I don't know much about this game. There's the music. There is no music left for us in this game. Mm. Whew. Sorry, I had to stretch me shortly. He's counting with his SV here currently, which is not too bad. Two SVs. Looks like a Reaper expand, but it's not. It's a Marine expand. Guess first? Probably not. But mm, I did go for gas first potentially, so it could be gas first on his side as well. Who the hell knows? Who the hell knows? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Can we get some music back? Let me see. I think I killed the music. No music for this game! You need to imagine the music yourself with your mighty brain. Otherwise you will have to watch a game without any music. Any music. Or you just put a uh, StarCraft 2 uh, soundtrack playlist underneath on a second tab as well. You could do that. It works. If you want music you can work around this. What you wouldn't be able to do is turn uh, off the music if it would be in the same video as my audio voice. Voice audio? Voice over? Voice voice? Whatever. Two Reaper on both Watchtower. Wow, this is something I do very rarely, but I like the idea. I should do this more often. Holy moly. I'm not sure what I'm playing here. Maybe I'm going for a tank immediately? No. Starport? Ooh, this is strange. Huh? <gasps> What's this build order? Wow! Immediately tank. Normally you go for a cyclone. That is really strange. I need to check something shortly because this is looking very familiar to me. Not that I'm casting a game I have played in the StarCraft 2 unranked. Let me check. TVT Belcher Vestige. Vestige. I think. No. No, it's 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 different. I'm sure it's different. Here comes this attack, but I do have a tank ready, and this is not a breakable position for him. Not at all. He can't break this position. He simply cannot break this position. No chance for him to do so. No. I think it's a different game. He almost gets the tank! He gets the Viking! But not the t Ah, oh, he gets one tank! Does he get the second one? No, close one, but good push. Very good push here. Lost three Cyclones, five Marines. Interesting attack. Behind that, going for a very quick third command center. That definitely can work, but he loses another Cyclone and two more SMS. It's dead, and it will never come back. Rip, rip SCV. So here's the Cyclone. Am I recording? Yes, okay. So now it's enough. Yeah. And, well, 
Cyclone goes back. How many Cyclones? Four, three, seven Cyclones. He's playing Mac. Okay, that makes more sense. So many Cyclones. So instead of Hellions, he's going for Cyclones. Cyclones are useful. It can work. I don't know how he would do against a double Raven opening. Harassing him like crazy now. I think that I think that would be disastrous for him. But currently that's simply not the case. So the unbuildable bricks were killed off. And I'm going for Marines against Mac. I don't know that he's playing Mac. I do know Battle nothing complete. about him. But I'm sure I will find out. Hopefully soon enough. I do have some Vikings on patrol, that's nice. But there are so many openings in TVT, especially on this map. You can play in the abuse. If you want to. Yes, no turret here. Banji would be strong. <laughs> and this command center is fer uh, fertig. Ready? Well, mine is just now building up. And he even has it morphed into an open command. So, all the time I'm giving him is bad, 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 bad for me. I will grab both Xanara Watchtower again, I guess. Uh, and that's good, but... Economy-wise, I'm so far behind, and I will fall behind even more, which is very good for a mech talent. For a talent who plays mech, this is a very good situation. The, the, the problem is you should not give him time to reach his strong army. You should harass, trade, harass, and, and, and kill off tiny bits of his armies, step by step, all over again. Like 2 medivacs, 60 marines. If there is no tank, of course, stim in, kill one unit, pull back, drop, heal, stim in, kill one, even if you only kill two hellions, or one hellion, but if you repeat this process three times in a row, half of his hellions would be gone. And it sums up over time. So there are two tanks, not very well spread out. He got more factories, interestingly, uh, in the natural. And there's a drop. Will go in, should be able to deal some damage. No, it's not a drop, it's a huge freaking attack! But the tanks are on the way. Uh oh, I, I don't know about this. Army wise, it's looking quite okay. But now he got his tanks ready. And I can't do much here. Uh oh, uh oh. There we go. But I do have the Vikings. Oh, here's the cyclone. If only I had one liberator, I could pressure those tanks. He is so good. But currently I can't. Not sure about taking out those rocks. And dropping one tank here, this will help me a little bit. And some more marines as well. I do have six vikings here now. Yeah, there are the marines. Vikings are coming in. Huge stim forward. I'm taking good trades, but I shouldn't lose all the marines. That's bad. Oh, but he loses all the Cyclones. More tanks to come. And I can drop on top of this. Which actually now I'm doing. Landing the Vikings is a mistake in my opinion. I'm killing only one tank. <laughs> oh, for six Vikings! That's a problem. Vikings are good against tanks, but only situationally. So it looks like I finally are ready to take this base. I did hit him a little bit, so that's good, but it's not enough. Oh, it looks like he's going for a counter attack. This could be dangerous for me. I do have Liberator now, but he has Vikings. I'm producing four Vikings at a time. Very strange setup for me. A 3-1-2 opening. Uh, he's going for Thor. Not a bad move. Thor do have some range, 10 in both modes, anti-airwise. Should definitely help him out. And if he if he decides to attack, he has some good army, the upgrades are okay. We will see. He goes in with the Vikings first. Kills the Liberator, gets one, good pickup. Pick off. 
Can I kill the Vikings? Well, that's nice if I focus fire correctly. Getting most of his Vikings, and now I do have the lead. Sending the Viking in to die. However, there is the Liberator. I don't have Liberator range yet. And so the Thor can deal good damage. It's an armored unit, so the Javelin missiles won't do too much damage. But still, he has the range. He can use it. Oh, and he gets it. For the cost of one Cyclone. I think that's even of a trade. A small drop. I should find this. I should drop here. I should really drop here. I should drop here. Oh man, Alex, what are you doing? Okay, I can drop here, deal good damage as well. And he's building up a strong front line, which I really like. This, however, is good for me. Uh, the SUVs and the gas guys will die. Cyclones are coming back. Ah, rescued all of those. Now his army is here, and this would be perfect opportunity to push. But he still has those tanks. Uh oh, those tanks, man. Ah, what are I doing? What am I doing? Uh oh. Now this is good. Bye bye tanks. Oh wow. This is huge. Now this position is. This is what I like about TVT. Positional strategic play. Uh, which sometimes happens. Even though it's garbage with the Liberator, Liberator range and this. Yes. But you have some strategic play. Some elements at least. So it feels a little bit like a strategy game. Here we go. Thor dealing not too much damage. Lock on is good, but he is fighting underneath the Liberator zones and all the Cyclones die. Look at that. The damage is so extreme. That's why it's almost doubling him. And uh, in the efficiency. I don't know. Oh, this one is good. Killing the SCVs and maybe the tank even. Yep, there we go. Losing the Liberator as well. Ah, luring the Viking. No, don't land! <laughs> I guess that was a huge misclick. Uh, it's still going on here. In the back, it's looking okay. For him, but still, yeah, the Thor. I do have Liberator range now, so that's helpful for me. I do have some rooms here, but he has a planetary, so yeah, it's not looking too bad. I'm still also on. Okay, now I'm on three starports, three barracks. A very strange. He, he need more production facilities. This is no good. Look at that. Bye bye Thor. Ah, this is good. He's killing the tanks, but only gets one. Here comes the Thor! Uh oh! This is not looking too good. I need more Vikings. I'm getting a, a, a missile turret. Now I can kill his Viking potentially. Maybe. Uh, I like those small skirmishes. He's got another base, which is really nice. His upgrades are on 2-2. Mine are on 1-1 one, one and 0-0, zero, zero, so <laughs> no time, no money for upgrades for both of us. He could afford it. Looks like he's giving up on the planetary now. There are too many Liberator, like 9 Liberator. He needs more Vikings. Instead he's going for Thor, which can work, but is it the right decision? I would say maybe? Yeah, you can't go down there. I do have some tanks here. Big Stim coming in. Killing one missile turret. For a couple of marines, I think that's nice. Finally, a set of of, of medics coming out. No, no, no! Don't fight there. Too many liberator. Too many tanks. Die! Look at the range. <laughs> that's so massive. He needs to flank those, like here. No, he needs to turn back. Nice little mine. Kill C. Oh God. No. Slowly but surely, I think this is looking very, really bad for him. He's losing even more here. Concord Cannon! Concord Cannon, ready for action. Affirmative. Oh yeah. So many Liberator. Widomine's not cutting it against Liberator, that's for sure. Does he have a starport? Yes, but he only has one. Oh, the mines! Not cutting it? Well, that was good damage. 
But still the Thor can't find an opening here. This base is dead now as well. So he's on one left, on, on one mining base left. Not good for him. I do claim his base here. Which wasn't touched much so far. Killing another missile turret. I am 60 supply ahead. This tank will die no matter what. It should die. Ah, it doesn't die. Oh no, Liberator! And this is so game. Liberator with the Javelin missiles don't deal too much damage. It only works against armored units like Void Rays when they clump, but it's not clumping enough. And here comes the last push. I think that's game. Yeah, there's a planetary. But how does he want to, to, to hold this? He can't. Simple as that. He can not hold this. Coming back just to lose more marines uh, as it is. So many little bit. Oh no! Rip. Now I'm 120 supply ahead. His last counterattack with one cyclone, one Thor. Can they do it? They're still recruits. <coughs> Doesn't look like too good. Still 1 1 against 2 2, but I think I got this now. Yeah. This is game. No income. No money left for him. Not really. Damn. And yeah, that was that was really a fun game. But he's not giving up yet. I don't think he can win this. Hellions attacking a refinery, not working out for him. And he kills one SCV, maybe two, but that's it. The Thor are dealing quite okay against the Marines, but against the Liberator, no, you, you, they are too clunky, too slow. Look at that. Oh no, the SCVs pushed the Thor into the Liberation Zones. Oh wow, GG, well played, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. As always, I wish you a very nice day and good. Hey, oh there, thank you for watching. If you'd like to support me, simply hit the thumbs up button. Do you have any wishes, feedback or suggestions, put them into the comments below. You may also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I wish you a wonderful and stress-free day. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you.